Susan Boyachko. I'm a research scientist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada here in Saskatoon. And I work on biopesticides for control of weeds and, and plant diseases. And at this uh, conference, I gave a presentation on uh, um, the overall program for uh, biopesticides for control of weeds, insects, and plant diseases and what Agriculture Canada and Agri-Food Canada is doing in terms of a national program and the strategy that we're using in order to go from the discovery, take the technology from the theoretical off the lab bench into the hands of the producers and into industry who can make them available to uh, um, the end user, whether the stakeholder is the farmer or the um, Canadian citizen and did talk a lot about uh, how we select our targets so that um, it gives industry a chance to look at what we're doing but make it profitable for the industry to be able to invest in it at a certain stage. And the scientist who is the inventor can take it through to different aspects where we go to what we call a proof of concept. And in that proof of concept, we get some early ideas where we need to go next to develop it. And that includes even the development of um, what I call platform technology, which are the really fundamental aspects for the product development. You might have an organism, whether it's a bacterium, a fungus, or a virus. But what makes a product is not just those as the active ingredient, but the platform technologies in fermentation, or how you mass produce it, how you formulate it so that you can store it, have good shelf life, transport it, and then how you deliver it. And um, with that then we go back and forth and make some decisions whether we have the right fermentation, right formulation, is it soil applied, foliar applied. Um, also make it easier with existing equipment that is available to the consumer or to the uh, farmer and we validate it and then as we go along this innovation chain as we call it we have our next phase where we try to get industry partnership we're looking at licensing the technology registering it we do a lot of health and safety testing looking at environmental issues um, uh, safety to humans and animals the environment and ultimately then working with industry to commercialize it and finally to get it adopted uh, as a technology, I guess you could say, but an environmentally safe tech, uh, uh, technology that meets a lot of um, uh, consumers uh, and, and the Canadian public's um, uh, concerns about environmental health and food safety and quality. In some cases, uh, scientists are approached by industry, uh, for example, in Canada, uh, I'll say, uh, we might have some biopesticide products that have been registered elsewhere in the United States or some countries in Europe and they're looking to expand their markets such as into Canada or they're looking at what we call label expansion. They might have a particular target pest and but it has broader spectrum activity on other pests to make it more uh, feasible for them to improve their markets. On the other hand, we have a lot of Canadian innovations and with these Canadian innovations we have uh, programs within our biopesticides where we have discoveries. We are taking it and we are trying to promote it so that uh, we're, for areas where we don't have, say, pest control products, for example, or we've had deregistration of, of products, or uh, um, where we even have uh, development of resistance populations that have become resistant to chemical pesticides. We're looking at these markets too. We're also looking at uh, um, developing um, something that is uh, available to organic farmers, but ultimately we're looking at products that can also become mainstream. But, it, but uh, Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada and even university uh, uh, researchers have research that can be commercialized in collaboration uh, with industry. You can almost say it takes a village 
you know, where uh, we really have to develop partnerships. We can no longer do research um, as individuals. It takes teams of researchers and with multiple disciplines, including whether we are doing uh, microbiology, plant pathology, weed science, entomology, but getting economists involved, getting sociologists involved, uh, getting formulation experts, even getting agronomists to really put it out in the field to making sure that it works. So it's putting together a whole team and actually to take biopesticides as, as a technology that really in Canada and as a whole, I mean it is growing but it's still relatively small right now, uh, but we're trying to build an industry. I think of canola for example, where we've gone from its first inception in the 1970s where it's a billion dollar industry now to, to Canada, of course worldwide, and that's the sort of thing that we're trying to do too is be forward thinking, forward thinking and, and start building another industry and come up with a new, um, what I would call the next generation of pest control products.